OnePlus is upgrading their lineup once again with the OnePlus 6T. Every time this happens, OnePlus brings something new and innovative to the table, unlike another phone company I can think of. With a few changes to the exterior design and a new underscreen fingerprint scanner, it's time to start the durability test. I still think it's funny that they add a do not disassemble warning. Right, let's get started. OnePlus back at it again with the wall-to-wall -wall display, looking good with this little niblet of a notch up top, instead of some of the other monstrosities we've seen lately. It's got the same subtle S reflection off the back glass. This time around, the back is missing the fingerprint scanner. OnePlus has moved the fingerprint scanner underneath the front display, which is pretty incredible. Not many companies have managed to do that yet, and here's the very fairly priced 6T rocking the newest technology. Let's see how well it works under pressure though. OnePlus does include a screen protector, so it's good to know the scanner works underneath that protection. It's time to test the glass itself with my Mohs hardness picks. These quantitatively show what the screen is made from. Plastic would be a level 3 or 4, glass is a level 6, and sapphire would be a level 8 or 9. The OnePlus 6T is using Gorilla Glass 6, and also scratches at a level 6, right on par with other flagships. One thing other major flagships don't have though is the in-screen fingerprint scanner. This technology is pretty sweet. There's a little sensor underneath the bottom part of the display panel that can see my finger. It uses the green light from the display to illuminate my fingerprint when it's pressed up against the glass. OnePlus said they tried using all different colors of light for this illumination, and interestingly enough, the color green was the most efficient color for the sensor. Earlier versions of this sensor on other phones could be seen through the black display when the screen was off. But with the OnePlus 6T, the fingerprint scanner is indiscernible from the rest of the screen. When it senses the touch from my finger, it'll activate, and if you watch closely, it uses the green light animation to illuminate my finger and unlocks. It happens pretty fast. Since the fingerprint scanner is under the glass, it's pretty well protected. My razor blade won't do any damage. Keys don't scratch tempered glass, nor coins. But hypothetically, let's say it did get scratched. I'll take my level 6 Mohs tool and scratch the glass. It's pretty safe to say it's unrealistically scratched right now, more so than would ever happen in real everyday life and the scanner is still working every single time. Impressive, OnePlus gets a thumbs up for that. Up here at the top of the screen, we have the little baby notch, kinda cute. It's got its one sensor that doubles as the front 16 megapixel camera, face unlock, and proximity sensor. Above the notch is the tiniest slit of an earpiece. Hopefully call quality isn't sacrificed because this thing is almost non-existent. It's about the same thickness as my razor blade. OnePlus is again sticking with the same black anodized aluminum, You can see the silver metal glinting underneath the anodized layer. The power button is made from metal, as well as the mute switch. This particular mute switch has three different settings, silent, vibrate, and ring. Even with the mute switch, this 6T is one-upping Apple. The top of the phone is metal, along with the volume buttons, and the dual SIM card tray. I do see a water-resistant rubber ring around the SIM card tray, so that's good, but no expandable memory. The biggest flaw so far, though, is the lack of headphone jack. I can only assume OnePlus removed the jack to sell more of their wireless bullet headphones. The bullets are good, don't get me wrong, but it's unfortunate that we can't have both worlds. Listen to this, though. You can hear the difference in texture over the logo. On the midnight black version of the OnePlus 6T, OnePlus has frosted the outer layer of the glass, just like the Pixel 3. It's a more subtle frosting, not as prominent, but the cloudiness is abrasive enough to start sanding down my softer metal tools, like my pry tool, and it leaves marks. Since the frosting is more gentle though, the marks wipe off, but still, frosting is a dangerous game when it comes to a clean looking device. You definitely never want your keys and phone in the same pocket. You can see my levels 3, 4, 5, and 6 picks all leave marks on the glass. The harder the material, the less likely it is to wipe off, as you can see from this rather expensive gradient of scratches on the Midnight Black. The OnePlus 6T currently comes in two colors, Midnight Black as you see here, and a glossy Mirror Black. Super creative shades of black, but why stop there? OnePlus should also include the Carbon Black, Matte Black, Camel Black, and Matrix Black. Dbrand does a good job of subtly protecting your phone against scratches, but also has quite a few not-so-subtle color options, if that's what you're into. 
I'll let you customize your own phone with the link in the description, and thanks to dbrand for sponsoring this video. Frosted phones gotta be keeping them pretty busy lately. OnePlus still has their two cameras on the back, the normal 16 megapixel camera, and the secondary depth sensor. I still wish they would use that extra space for a wide angle or a telephoto, but it is what it is. The flash is protected under the glass, and neither the camera lens nor the flash were damaged by my razor blade. The OnePlus 6T is rocking a 6.4 inch 1080p AMOLED display. Super nice for watching YouTube videos at high definition, something that the new $750 iPhone XR cannot do. I left my lighter in place on the screen for over 30 seconds, and it had no reaction. Pretty impressive. The pixels completely recovered from the heat, leaving no marks. The invisible oleophobic coating, though, is evaporated now in that spot, so don't attempt this trick on your own phone. We'll peel off the skin to keep the bin test fair. I am going to leave the red decal, though, because that looks pretty awesome. Not all phones are created equally. Structural integrity matters a lot if you want your phone to last a while. The OnePlus 6T does have some flex in the upper half of the phone, but I imagine this is the junction between the board and the battery where the phone is the weakest. There are no kinks in the middle, nor damage to the frame though. The OnePlus 6T flexes back to its original shape after the pressure is released. The only thing damaged is my decal. The OnePlus 6T costs $200 less than Apple's new budget phone, the iPhone XR, and is physically better in almost every single way. This is what Apple should have made with their trillions. Good hardware at a fair price. Yeah, the midnight might scratch a bit and the headphone jack is missing, but the OnePlus 6T passes my durability test. Should I try making a clear 6T? Let me know in the comments. Customize your phone with a dbrand link in the description, and thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around.